Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Up on my fourth take of this video. I like to do it in one shot. Don't like to do the editing on it, but I'm just going to do it again. Whatever. Before we get started, guys, like, share, subscribe to the channel. We are expanding the channel a little bit. I uh, will give some updates in some later videos. Today we're going to be talking about this light here, the new Thrunite TN12 Pro. Is it right there? Great light. Um, I picked this up on a Amazon Super Sale. That sometimes, if you go onto my my Facebook page, you'll see that I post Super Sales and sales and everything else to everyone. And I keep an eye on a lot of different products. So if you're ever interested in getting some deals, sometimes I also link them below. Um, so I picked this up for $32 on a super sale. Unbelievable price. Normal price on it is like $45 or something. Um, right now on Amazon it's $44. Get down to the specs here. Uh, great, great light. I, w I wanted to stick with this size light because most of the, the uh, manufacturers today on their 2000 plus lumen lights are going to the larger type batteries of 2400 series or something like that or 24,000 series which is a larger battery um, I like this because it, st it stays with the 18650 which is the normal size and I got a bag of 18650 batteries so I like to stick with what I have it doesn't make any sense to make that jump at least not yet um, but it's a 1900 lumen light for forty dollars, that's pretty good. Um, I, I'm a big through night fan, as you can see. I got other through nights here. Um, brought the old TN12 out just for doing some comparison, size comparisons, and stuff. Um, and I have some, you know, if you look through my channel, I have some headlamp uh, reviews and some EDC type flashlight reviews and stuff on my channel. So I believe they gave you a lot for your money. Um, I also love the Phoenixes. Got a couple of the smaller ones, uh, but they, they get pricey. Um, so here we are with the through night. Um, it's 1900 lumens on turbo, which is actuated by the tail cap. This is a tactical light, so you're going to get full bore from the back. Um, it is good for uh, 130 minutes, so it stays at 1900 lumens and then gra for seven minutes and then gradually goes down to 477 lumens at the lowest um, and that complete cycle is an hour is two hours and 10 minutes so it's 130 minutes which is a good burn time and even at the as it gets weaker at 477 lumens i mean that that's good that's good usable light um high is 550 lumens mediums 220 Lowe's 50, and then Firefly is 0.5. So to get into the user interface, they did change it from previous models, but all the through nights are kind of getting standard across the board. It's turbo from the back, just turbo. Okay, because it's tactical light, it's just full bore from the back. And then if you want to use it as a regular light, um, you actuate it through the side button here, and then it'll toggle through its levels so there you have three so that's going to be low medium high low medium high and then to get it into um firefly or i'm sorry if you wanted to get it in a turbo you triple click and then if you want fire firefly you click and hold it i don't really use firefly very often if if at all <clears throat> and then turbo, like I said, turbo is just, you know, from the back. Got a nice tight beam to it, too. Not super tight, but good good and usable. Got a good throw to it. Um, let me see what the distance is on this. It's half decent. It's like 400 meters. 380 meters. So that's a good distance. Anything more than that, you're going to have to get a beam in your light. Something larger. Um, comes with an 18650. Unscrew the tail cap. You know, an 18650, you know, through night branded battery is like $20 by itself. 3,400 milliamp hours. 
good quality. You want to make sure you use a um, protected cell. What that means is there's a there's circuitry inside the battery itself that protects it from overcharge and overheating and all that stuff. It'll cut it off and protect it from actually having a meltdown. So it will protect your cell, it will protect your battery, it will protect your uh, your light and your freaking pocket. If you ever have a meltdown in your pocket, that's not a good idea. That's not a good thing. I've, I've heard people of that happening to people. That's not good. Um, has a reversible clip right there. So you can put it on your brim of your hat. Uh, it does carry pretty low in the pocket. I have been carrying this light out on the town and, and, and around. I took it out last weekend to a, uh, a hayride and dinner. And I didn't even know I had it in my pocket. I was like, man, this thing's really carrying good. I'm not, I've been carrying it for like three months. Not 100% of the time. Um, and I don't know what else to tell. You know, it's USB chargeable through the side. USB-C. So it's got the upgraded port or the latest port. Um, all your charging indicators are on the button here. I don't know if you can see that. You see the blue? Blue means fully charged, and then it changes to yellow and red and all that stuff. Um, you know, clear lens. Just a, just a, good, it's a good light. I, I recommend it, especially if you can get it on sale. Um, now this is an older version. This is a 2014, so it's almost a decade old. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller than it, which is a good thing. Uh, about the same weight. This is 1,050 lumens on turbo, so it's double the lumens, same size capacity battery and everything. Um, didn't change much to the lens, this is smooth. Um, the user interface is different. The pocket clip's different. They've upgraded all the pocket clips. Um, other than that, you know, it's just a typical good quality flashlight. you got to have your good quality flashlights, man. Um... You know, speaking of survival and, and putting things back and all, I keep a lot of lights in Faraday cages to keep them out of EMP, possible EM, EMP attacks. Um, this is a Phoenix. I've always, I always had this up on my desk. Um, but this is a this is just a double A light. I usually use that for the dog out back here um, to protect them. Um, now, before we get too far into this video. For the war that's commencing in Israel, God bless them people. Looks like we're going to be uh, supporting them, which I support as well. We should always support Israel. A nice Ontario Rat 7 fighting knife. It's a fighting knife to me because I have it on my pack. And a nice buck ground combat knife. Spear point. To support the troops in Israel. Great handle on that. We got a handle on that. Nice thick stock. 5160 steel. Awesome. So. Uh, guys listen man. It could be getting hairy. So. Mind what you're putting back. Use your head. Keep your head on a swivel. We had that day of jihad last Friday. Uh, thankfully, nothing happened. But uh, me and my family were on high alert. You know, kind of put a couple things in, in motion to protect the family and the kids. I have older kids. Not, they're not small. They're older teenagers and up. So, just keep your head on a swivel, man. Um... You know, make sure you stuff. You got stuff. You put stuff back. I changed the uh, the uh, which call. I had power cord on here, and I changed it to zip ties. I wanted to use black zip ties, but I couldn't find any. So Joker links, great knife. Six ninety five steel, high viz. But man, Jihad Day, you got to keep your head on the swivel, man. It may be up to us to 
what's going to stop a lot of these combatants if they ever if things ever pop off in this country. You know, there's a lot of sheeple out there that really don't have anything. They don't even have a knife. I mean, something like this, as small as something just like this knife. There are people out there that don't even have something like this in their house. They have kitchen knives. That's that's about as uh, a knife that you can get. A good a, a good knife that that is in, that are in your house is a kitchen knife. It's just uh, some people just I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, it's like you don't have a knife. You don't have a gun. You don't even have a really good flashlight. It's like I'm just it, it boggles my mind because I've I've never been of the mindset. Uh, I've never been of that mindset. I have always been, I don't know, I guess you can, you can call it a self-sufficient kid. That was me growing up. I've always had firearms. I've always had knives. I've, I've always been prepared in, in some way, form or another. Um, I don't know. Most people probably won't get to this portion of the video. I'm going to probably have clicked off by now because they hate lights. But whoever's still watching this, you know, just get ready, man. I'm not saying that anything can happen, but that's the way life is, man. You never can predict what's going what's gonna to happen. And I'd rather be ready and not have anything ever happen than to be one day late. And say, man, I should have done that or I should have done this. There's just too much at stake, you know. Alright guys, I'm going to sign off for here. You guys keep keeping on. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.